What's happening everybody? Hope you're having a great one. Welcome to my 2021 desk setup tour. As a college student, there's a lot of responsibilities to manage, you know. Most of my schoolwork, gaming, and editing happens right here. And with the surge of online learning, most of us staying at home, I wanted to make sure my desk setup was clean, welcoming, and productive. And I'm really excited to show you guys what my desk setup looks like. So without further ado, let's get right into the tour. Starting off my setup is my Gillespie desk from Staples. I've been using this for almost 10 years now and I'm surprised that they're still selling it. The Gillespie is an L-shaped desk with a sleek cherry finished tabletop in black metal frame. This desk gives me tons of space to put all my favorite items on so it works great for me. It originally came with a wooden plank used for a keyboard tray but I didn't like the functionality of it so I decided to go get some door stoppers and attach it to my plank. This helps me raise my monitor up and I gotta say it works great. Raising the monitor up makes a huge difference as it gives my setup a nice elevated feel. Additionally, I can slide my keyboard and mouse under the plank if I ever need more space on my table so I think it's a pretty smart idea. In addition, I bought a cat scratcher mat called the Lurvig from Ikea. Some of you guys may know that I have two cats in my apartment and having this mat makes it very enjoyable for them to scratch on when they're near my desk. The next elephant in my room is the LG 29 inch ultra wide monitor. I made the switch to ultra wide a couple years ago and let me tell you there's no going back for me. The ultra wide monitor lets watching movies or playing games be really immersive. Every time I use my computer, I'm glad that I get so much viewing angles. Also, the ultra wide monitor essentially gives me two 1280 by 720 screens when I'm multitasking and I love it. For instance, when I'm doing a homework or a quiz, I can put one of my windows on one side of the screen and another on the other. That way I can use it for notes to Google search or answer something. With an ultra wide monitor, you just get more screen space, you know, more space to breathe. And while it isn't 1440p or 4K, that's alright. Below my monitor is my keyboard and gaming mouse. I have an ASIO RGB MGK1 mechanical keyboard with blue switches. The volume rockers comes in super handy and it's really the only way I change the volume on my computer anymore. There's a nice and full RGB spectrum that can be configured directly on the keyboard without any added software and overall, the sleek gunmetal feel to this keyboard makes it still enjoyable having owned this for over 5 years now. Beside my keyboard is my mouse which is a Logitech G502, hands down the best gaming mouse I've ever used. The G502 has a really nice and aggressive look that makes it seem really cool. The comfort is unmatched to any other mouses because of the claw grip design. This lets my hand feel very natural while I'm using it. The buttons feel very tactile and the infinite scroll feature is probably one of the best things about this mouse. I can easily scroll through an entire page of articles with ease, it's pretty next level. And below all of this is my RGB mouse pad. It's a cheap pad that I got off of Amazon and it does the job nicely, keeping all my peripherals intact. I clean my mouse pad occasionally to get rid of the dust on it and it just gets dirty from time to time. If you want to check out my video on how to clean an RGB mouse pad, you can watch my full video in the top right corner for some tips. For my video and microphone setup, I'm rocking a Logitech C615 webcam. If I'm on Zoom working with professors or catching up with friends, the C615 works great giving me full 1080p resolution for video chats. As for my mic setup, I'm using a blue snowball. This snowball I had for 6-7 to seven years now and it's still probably one of the best budget mics on the market today. For only around $55, you get great clear sounding audio from this little guy. This one I got specifically has a nice reflective finish on it and fun fact, it's actually what I'm using to record this video on right now. Next are my speakers. It's a pair of Logitech Z313s. These speakers sound very great giving me a nice punchy sound when I want thanks to the included subwoofer. If I'm not using these, I have my Audio-Technica's ATH-M50X headphones. As you can probably tell, I had these for a really long time now because I need to get my ear cups replaced. Regardless, these are without a doubt the best professional sounding headphones I've used within the $150 price range. Now the last items on my desk are my power hubs. Both of these are connected to my computer with an SD card slot, 7 USB 3.0 ports, and 2 power outlet ports. These hubs are really useful when I want to connect my phones or other peripherals to my computer, 
and I get two wall outlet ports as well, so it comes really handy. Moving on to my computer is my gaming PC. This is where I do all my gaming and editing. First off, it's built in NZXT Source 210, which is a mid-sized case with a side panel window. Powering this PC is my AMD FX 6350 CPU clocked at 4.19 GHz. I have a GTX 660 Ti reference card which is an absolute terrible card by today's standards. Major reason being is that it only has 2GB of video RAM which is not powerful enough to run most modern games or edit crazy videos. For my drive, I have a Samsung 850 EVO with 250GB of storage and while it may seem like a pretty weak computer, it gets the job done for me. Next is my Surface Book 2 laptop. I actually got this for free from an award I did back in high school. This Surface Book 2 is a powerful machine capable of running most major apps and games, and being a Windows laptop, their security is great, and they didn't add any extra bloatware like free virus defenders or games like other laptops do. The Surface does have a touch screen so that comes in really handy, and this laptop has one of the nicest displays I've ever seen. Also, did I mention that the screen can detach for the computer? Yeah, you can take the screen off and use it as a regular tablet. As for what I sit on, I have a GT Racing gaming chair. This is one of my favorite chairs to date. The cushion has surprisingly held on. I haven't seen any signs of flattening out. The polyurethane leather is very high quality. The backrest is adjustable. You can adjust the seat back to almost 90 degrees and there's also an included footrest too. So I just showed you basically all the big things on my desk setup but there's also a lot of other cool gadgets and tools and decorations that I keep around my desk which I think you might find interesting. So actually one of the best things I keep around my desk is a space heater and since winters here get really cold, having the central air turned on isn't going to reach all throughout the room. I bought the Stanley portable heater and it comes in clutch so many times, especially when my feet is cold, when I get out of the shower. This heater you can plug it in and turn the knob and within 5 seconds you get super Super hot blowing air which is a lifesaver. It makes doing work on my computer so much more comfortable. Definitely a great purchase if you live in a cold area. For my lighting, I have this cheap clamp lamp with a GE lighting bulb. These light bulbs are Bluetooth enabled which allows me to control the colors. There's a full RGB spectrum and it's really great. As for my shelf, I have nothing too crazy. I normally change it out every so often but right now I have an old Canon DSLR up there as well as a glass coke bottle and a fake plant. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed that desk setup tour. Everything that you saw in this video, I'm going to link it down in the description below. So if there's something that you like or want to purchase for yourself, you can definitely check it out. Also, I hope you took some ideas or inspirations from me for your desk setup. For myself personally, I had this desk for a really long time now. And over the years, I just accumulated some more stuff, moved some things around, bought some new products, and kind of customized it to my liking. Maybe your desk setup may look better than mine. But as for right now, I'm pretty happy with what I got here. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed that video, please leave a like and comment down below what you guys think. If you guys just want to talk, you know, feel free to talk. I'll be sure to read each and every one of your comments. And hit that subscribe button too if you want to stay updated with my future content. Anyway, that's all I have for today's video and until next one, I'll see you then.